it starts typically with staffing and ordering. So when you put out a menu, you have to make sure that you have the appropriate staff to execute it. And then with the way supply chains are these days, um, it's making sure that you can actually get the product you want to execute. So sometimes we're looking eight, 12 weeks out, hoping we get the product for a menu that's been planned out for that amount of time. So it just kind of depends on what comes in and who's available. We typically start the week off on a Monday with some more of the ready-made foods because if we did scratch stuff it would be sitting over the weekend those extra few days. Plus it allows the team to get the salad bars and the vegetables prepped to start the week. And then we usually implement, implement something on like a Tuesday and a Thursday that would be more scratch made then that way they have a gap in between if they have to do any specialty cooking at Central Kitchen. And then it gets distributed from there out to the schools and then they heat it and serve it at the actual schools themselves. Stuff we get from a vendor is typically it's really just made. It's more of a heat and serve type thing or limited cooking processes with it. Um, the scratch made stuff is from beginning to end. So we take, say, raw ground beef, then we turn it into spaghetti sauce, then we create the pastas and all those things. And to do that for 13 to 1500 meals it takes some time. And we usually only have about three people in our production ki uh, kitchen producing that stuff. And we have to use 80% whole grain rich products. So our pastas are 80% whole grain. Our pizza crust is 80% whole grain, so I actually see quite a bit of postings. Why is stuff not as flavorful as it might have been in the 80s? Well, in the 80s it was white breads and all those different things, butter, salt. Now it's really tight. We can have an average of about 300 milligrams of sodium per meal, and like I said, everything has to be 80% whole grain rich. And those numbers are actually probably going to go up over the course of the next few years. Mm.